Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We are Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. We have another What's Sold video for you today. This is going to be for Tuesday, July 28th. Um, it's a little bit later in the day, so we are gonna. We might try to rush it, but we're coming up close on the post office. Um, so it's also after nap time. So if you hear the kids in the background, we do apologize. But we're gonna go ahead and get through this right now. So here's Kathy. She's got our sales for today. Hey guys, so we'll start with Mercari sales. Let me turn off my phone because if that keeps happening, I know I'm gonna forget everything I'm trying to say. So, all right, first up, this is a Zara Kid shirt. Uh, this was my son's. I actually bought it off the red up, but when I got it, it came like with some stains on it and like two holes in the neck. So I reached out to them and they ended up just refunding me and letting me keep it. It was only a few dollars from thread up. So sometimes they do that when it's a cheap item. So anyways, I have $0 into this, but it sold for $5 plus shipping, even with the flaws that it had. So cha-ching. Yeah, $4.50 for me. <laughs> All right, next up, these are some Kid Saucony sneakers. Uh, if you watched our recent thrift hauls, you probably saw these in one of them. I have $2 into them from a local thrift store. Um, they're pretty roughed up on the toes and stuff. Obviously, I showed that all in the pictures, but I thought I could get around 15 for them. And so I listed them, I think, for 15 plus shipping. And somebody offered me 13 plus shipping. So I accepted that. I'm making like well, almost $12, 13. I can't math right now, but 13 <laughs> minus $1.30, so. Yeah, almost a ten dollar profit it sold in a day or two so happy with that um, next up this is the brand slumberkins uh, this is something this was my kids we bought the this for easter a couple years ago so we only paid twelve dollars for this and these are like they get sold out really fast so like usually you can sell them for more than you paid for them originally which is what happened with this guy um i sold i listed him on mercari for eighteen dollars plus shipping and somebody bought it like literally within 30 seconds so obviously I probably underpriced it we actually have another one I might try to find that one and list that one for a little more and see but yeah I made my $12 back plus some extra so it's a good brand to look I mean you might not ever find it at a thrift store but it is a good brand if your kids have them and you're not using them it's a good brand to sell just make sure you look up comps because yeah some of them can go for crazy money like I have a sloth that I think I might be able to get like close to $200 for, so <laughs> we're gonna try, but we'll see. That's I have so seen crazy. some sell recently on the buy sell trade board of the same kind for 200 plus, so cross our fingers, but yeah, definitely a good brand to look out for. And is that something that was on Shark Tank? Is oh that yeah, that's, that's how I heard about it. And then I just thought they're so cute and I like buy them all for our kids. But usually when we get a new one, um, we sell like an old one, so we have, we have a lot, but yeah, they got, um, they did a little camp set recently and it came with like five little plushies. So I've gotten rid of a few. You'll see another one in a second. So, all right, next up, uh, these are just some Zara joggers. These were also my son's. I bought them a few years ago on Zara clearance. So I think I have like $8 into them. He wore the crap out of these. These are super faded. They used to have like dragons, but you can hardly even see them anymore. And yeah, so. I paid eight dollars for them and they sold for 950 with free ship and yeah these were super play condition but people still buy that people love those zara pants for their little guys and girls <laughs> all right next up that was it for mercari uh, next up we have a handful of kids in sales this is actually a bundle um the one in the front here is a peak kid shirt it's like disney winnie the pooh and then the one in the back is a Gap shirt and it has like Einstein on it. So these were, again, both my son's shirts. I think I have $20 into the peak one and probably 10 into the Gap one. Um, but yeah, the bundle sold for $38.36 with free shipping. So I'm making back $29.96, probably about my full money back. I might have paid $12 for the Gap one. I can't really remember where I got that, but that would be like the very max I'd pay for a Gap shirt. And so, yeah, for those of you who don't know, we do buy a lot of, well, pretty much all of our kids' clothes with the intention of reselling. So sometimes you'll see our kids' clothes where we're not making any money, but they wore them <laughs> for a long time. So Yeah, I mean, we're not making any profit, but we made all of our money back. So right. that's $30 that we have back in our bank account today because I sold them instead of letting them hang in the closet. And the alternative would be 
you know, donate normal people more. just donate it when they're done, and, and that's show right. For 50 cents. So, yeah, 30 bucks on two shirts. That's really awesome. <laughs> All right, next up, this is that other slumberkin I was talking about. This is a fox. Um, I paid $28 for this guy. I know, again, you think that's crazy, but I, I buy these because I know that they resell well. Um, I probably would not spend that much money on something that's gonna not be resold. So $28 is what I bought this for probably a year or so ago now. And I listed him for $39.95 free shipping. Again, these are sold out. They do actually retail like around I think 35 to 40 but then the one I got this one it was like on sale so yeah uh, sold out now so I listed it for 40 I sent an offer for 34.95 free ship and somebody accepted that so after the shipping and the fee on Kitizen I'm making 27.18 back so again almost made all my money back on that all right this one I sealed up because I just forgot <laughs> but you'll see the screenshots it's just two pairs of sorrel sorrel Sorrel. I can't remember. I can't remember either. So, yeah, two pairs of Sorrel boots. Um, one is like a youth size two, and then a toddler size eleven. So the toddler one, I had like sixteen dollars into. I bought those from Thread Up. I was gonna have my son wear them, but he ended up having a few other snow boots, so he never wore those ones. And then the other pair came from Once Upon a Child. I had nine fifty into those, so about twenty five dollars was my cost of goods for both of them. They sold for. I listed them each for about $49.95 free ship. And I had 20% off two running last night. So the person that bought these got them for about $39.96 a piece. So their total for both was $79.92. Um, then the kid is in fees, 12% plus 50 cents. So that made my, what I made, $69.83. And then normally I always say to, I pretty much always use Kitizen labels, but for this one, because it's a five pound box, it was gonna be $17, so normally it's not worth my time to like double price check, but since it was such a high amount, I was like, well, I'll spend a few seconds checking, and I ended up saving $5 on this one from going through pirate ship, so it only cost me like $10.64, I think, to ship these. The person just lives in Missouri, so not too far away. And yeah, so 69 minus like 10, so I made about $59 minus my cost of goods, which was 25. So a little over 30 bucks on the bowl. So I'm happy with that sale. I was a little worried at first, like that the shipping was gonna be a lot, but honestly, if I had to ship them separately, the shipping would have been about $10 each. So I'm actually glad that they sold as a bundle. All right, oh, we'll save that one. One more kit is in sale. Uh, this is also a bundle. Uh, again, I'm not making any profit, but I am making about $30 back in our bank account. Uh, this is a Zara sweater I bought for my son. Um, I was gonna do like cute fall photos, but of course never happened. So it's still new at Tag. I did pay $25 for that on Kitizen. And then these are just some Hannah Anderson pajamas. Um, these were my son's, but I bought them from the Once Upon a Child. So I only paid $4.50 for those. So yeah, I have about 30 bucks into the both of those and they sold for. So I had the jammers listed at 24, I had the sweater listed at 30, and I had 20% off two running, which brought the total down to like 43, but then I really wanted the person to buy these because this sweater has been carded so many times and people always ask questions about it and I don't really like answering questions, so I just wanted it to get sold. So I sent an offer on top of the discount. So I sent $40 for both and they accepted. So. They are shipping in a padded flat rate, so $7.75 was my cost on the shipping. Well, the cost, it comes out of what the buyer pays, so I don't have to like upfront that cost. And yeah, after that shipping label and the fees came out, I made $27.88 back, so I paid about $30 and made most of that back. All right, so that was it for Kitizen, and the rest of the seals for today are from eBay. This is just a boys Ralph Lauren button-down shirt. Um, these usually sell around $15 for me. I had it listed at $14.95 free ship on eBay for like a couple months and then recently I relisted it for $12 plus $3.52 for shipping and somebody bought it outright. So I actually got more money that way. Um, I paid $2 for that at Once Upon, not Once Upon a Child, Salvation Army. So yeah, I usually pick up any Ralph Lauren shirts that are one to two bucks because not huge profits, but they always sell and yeah, I just, I like to sell them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, these are just some Crocs wedge sandals. I have $4 into these. 
I listed them for 20 plus shipping on eBay and somebody was watching them. They've been listed, you know, normally at Crocs sell fairly quick. These ones have been listed probably close to 30 days now, so I wanted to get them sold. I sent an offer of 15 plus ship. These are some vans. I actually bought these for myself. I think I might have worn them a time or two. Um, so I did pay $10 for these. I would not pay 10 just to sell these probably because they're kind of dirty. Um, and then they did have like a little rip on the side, but since I bought them for myself, I did pay $10 and I just, I have the white checkered pair too. So I just decided I didn't need both. Went ahead and listed these. I listed them yesterday for $29.95 free ship and they pretty much sold within a couple hours. So really happy with that. Even with the rip and stuff, I thought I was gonna have to send a, a low offer to get them sold, but happy those sold. Right, and then next up, these are um, Crocs. Crocs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Brain fart. <laughs> it's been a long day, I guess. Yeah, some more Crocs. Um, I don't remember what I paid for these. They, I think I just got these at the Once Upon a Child. They priced all their Crocs at like four fifty, And then I always have the 20% off. So yeah, probably right around that $4 mark. Um, and they sold for my list price, which was $18 plus the shipping. And then last sale of today is some men's Reebok CrossFit shoes. I have $7 into these. I actually had a buyer message me yesterday or the day before saying, like I had just listed them. They'd been up maybe a few hours and he said, I'll give you $23 for these because I can buy a new, brand new pair for $29, but just in a different color. <laughs> anyway, so obviously I said no. <laughs> I said no <laughs> thanks, but um, yeah, these, I've sold like five pairs of these CrossFit shoes and they've all sold for at least $40. So since they were listed at 40 and newly listed, I just stuck to my guns and a couple days later, that is what they sold for. $39.95 free shipping. Um, they were just under two pounds and the buyer just lives in Texas. So yeah, this shipping was $7.88. So not bad. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. We're going to go ahead and pack them up and take them off for the post office. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we do videos like this all the time. We do what solds. Um, we've been getting to do a lot more haul videos. So if these are the kinds of videos that you are interested in, definitely hit that subscribe button. Um, and we do have a lot more things coming down the pipeline. So we're going to go ahead and call this a day, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.